Welcome back to Johnny Kelly's Adventures. So what we've done here is I've mounted the wood for my solar panels. As you can see, the brackets I used are called EMT brackets. They're used for uh, uh, holding conduit to walls and wood and concrete and stuff like that. And they worked out pretty good. Two and a half inch uh, treated carriage bolts, nut, flat washer, flat washer. So. Uh, and this is what we're looking at up here. And they're 24 inches apart, outside to outside. And I figure with the panel being 19 and a half inches, and then an inch and a quarter for each one of the brackets. So that's two and a half inches. So uh, 22 inches is going to be good. And uh, right now I'm going to take and start mounting the brackets for the solar panels. Some energy solar panel. And right here are the brackets. And they will go on here like this. Or actually, more like this. Lift the panel up, which is really cool. Yeah, I guess you could put them like that and set the panel down if you spaced them far enough apart. You can put it on this way. This is my energy panel, 100 watt, and uh, wired up, ready to go. So we'll go ahead and get a uh, start doing the mounting brackets on all four panels. It's a 400 watt system, and uh, then we'll start putting them up. All righty box that come with it, breaker, uh, 10 amp fuse, some mounting hardware, the heat sensor for the battery, set of cables, and the cables for the charge or for the solar panel. Oh, and the box with all the mounting hardware in it. So there's like four packs of screws, nuts and bolts, and four brackets for mounting. So, alrighty. And that's the whole thing in a nutshell. Got the brackets mounted on the panels. Pretty simple. I was gonna lay these up here two along the right side, two along the left side. But the kit that I got is to be laid out in series. So that didn't work, or not gonna work. And I'm just gonna do it this way. So what I'm doing now is I need to bring this board over this way a little bit to get the screws in the holes here. And once I do that, we'll be good to go. And Sunday and everybody wants to play with their lawn stuff, so. You probably hear a little bit in the background, but right now, moving right along for my four 100 watt panels, and I'm getting ready to mount them down. So. The board moved over, started fastening them down. These are the screws they gave me to they come with the kit. They got like a little plastic washer on them. I'm not really sure what millimeter they are. Let's see if I can. Looks like eight. Yeah, eight mil they're eight millimeter. So they go in pretty good, self-tapping. So if you want to run them through the roof of your vehicle, you can. <laughs> and uh, yeah, they're going down pretty good. I've got it tightened back down. And uh, should be just perfect. And we'll pretty soon we'll start wiring because I think I can reach, yeah, I've got one here. There should be another one right in here. I think this is, uh, can't remember. Yeah. I think this is negative. I think this one is a negative because negative is a female and the positive is a male. Pretty sure. It's under here somewhere. <laughs> anyway, so it's going to be running series, negative, positive, so on, all the way down. All right, what we're done is running this in series, positive to negative, and I have a negative here hook up to the long wire and I have some zip ties 
with an eyelet on the end that I used to secure the wires up. Now granted, they won't last forever, but uh, they'll do for right now because I have a feeling I may be changing this or maybe adding another panel, not really sure. But for the most part, I'm almost done up here. I do need to go get some uh, the little square things that mount on the where you can mount them anywhere, but you can put a zip tie in them and hold the wire in place. So I think I'm gonna take a ride and see if I can't find a pair set of those. Help me out. So, uh, all right, we're moving right along. Next thing will be <laughs> punching a hole in the roof. Love doing that. And uh, getting that uh, wiring down inside. We've got the wires run. You see they're falling down over here. Got the little cup. And got my place marked out right here to put it. Gonna drill an inch and an eighth hole to hold the, the grommet. And then uh, probably I'll put it down with 3M, but I'm also thinking about using some butyl tape with it as well. And uh, I think that'll be my better bet too. And then when I get it down, it's got a place for a screw and three face to hold it. And then I'll run the wires. Well, of course, you know, run the wires inside. But all right, well, let me drill a hole and see what happens. Mine gave me a glad hand rubber. And these are really good because they have a center in them that, uh, here, let me pull it back out, that uh, will help keep critters out if any critters get in there. And it's about an inch and an eighth hole is what I needed to put in it, which didn't seem too awfully bad. And uh, get both wires fed through it. And that'll be it. Take it up here. All right. So let me take you up top and show you what I'm doing up here. I have the hole drilled. What I'm going to do is feed the wires through to my wife. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead, easy, easy, keep going, yeah, just keep pulling. All right, hold up, got another one coming through now. There we go. Yeah, the uh, positive, yeah, hold up now. Okay, now I gotta get the this grommet <laughs> in the hole, which sometimes is easier said than done. Here, hand me that flat screwdriver. Forgot how much fun these things were since I quit driving truck. But she's going in there. This will help protect the wires if there's any vibration of any kind. Keep the wires from chafing. Becoming there. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, now. What we'll do is run this over. Go ahead and easy. Okay, that should be good right there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some butyl tape around here. And then I'll peel the 3M tape off and uh Screw it down, so we'll bring you back for that. Put down some butyl tape. Clean this off a little bit. And I hope you enjoy the music, my neighbor's music. What I'm going to do is keep the front end solid.
make it a little bit bigger than it needs to be. Now pull this tape off here. Then we'll do a little overlap here. Just ever so slight. Let's press it down. Peel this tape off here because it's easier to work with. Press that in like such. Hey, look, spare parts. Oh, that stuff sticks to everything. Except for what you want it to. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. Now, we'll peel the 3M tape off. Easier said than done, but easier with a little knife. And here comes the idiot with a lawnmower. Be right back. Okay. What I'm doing, pressing it down really, really good. Get a good firm seal. After a while, I'll come back and trim all this off. I may just leave it. I mean, it's not hurting anything to stay there. Now, put a couple screws in it. Oops. That might be just a bit much. Okay. Don't get too carried away with a screw gun. Just enough to make it squeeze. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take and pack this around it. And maybe see if I can't cut some off. Yeah. Probably better just to leave it alone. Okay. Now, I'll tighten these up a little bit. Yeah, get so used to hearing that gar that music, didn't even know it's gone. There. Now, all I have to do is order some of them. I'm sure you people know what they are. They're a little square piece that you can put down and then run a zip tie through it. And it sticks. I figure three right there would hold the wires really, really well. So, uh, yeah. Go down inside. It's really good. We got it in. And I should have put a piece of tape there, but I didn't know where it was coming through. So uh, I have to find something to go around there with. I don't know. Maybe get one of those little, uh, little bathroom rings like they put around the pipe in the floor or something. I think that would look good. Anyway, it's going to run down here. Run down along that seam. Down. Come across here. Run over. And tie into the bottom of the rover. Your rover. <laughs> Sit, stay. And uh, we'll get that in the next episode. We'll finally finish tuning it in. I got to check something because somebody told me that the panels are run in series. Positive to negative, positive to negative, positive to negative. And uh, 
somebody told me the batteries need to be in the same configuration so I'm gonna have to look into that because I think I got mine mine are going positive to positive negative to negative so gotta look into that I got a friend of mine that's an engineer so I'll ask him all right I appreciate you watching stay tuned for the next video where we finish this all up uh, like subscribe leave a comment and uh, have a nice day thank you